Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss a few MCQs in facial nerve. Facial nerve is a seventh cranial nerve and it, it is a very important topic for your exam. So let's start to solve some questions. First of all, number one, the MCQ number one, a 28 year old man was rushed to the emergency room following an accident in a construction site. The CT scan revealed obliteration of the stylomastoid foramen. Which of the following nerve comes out of the stylomastoid foramen? Mandibular nerve, maxillary nerve, facial nerve, glossopharyngeal nerve, vagus nerve. You to pick up the best response from here. Okay. MCQ number two the facial colliculus is an elevation on each side of the floor of the fourth ventricle formed by the internal genu. Genu means turning genu of the facial nerve over the nucleus of what nerve? trochlear nerve, oculomotor nerve, trigeminal nerve, abducens nerve, vestibulocochlear nerve. Okay. Question number three, three, third MCQ. A 47-year-old bell palsy patient felt unusual and excessive intensity of a telephone call from a doctor's office. Which of the following muscle paralysis caused the high intensity call? Stapidius, tensor tympani, levator belly palatini, stylomas, stylohyoid, posterior belly of the digestive. Okay, let's go to the fourth multiple choice question. All of the following glands are innervated by parasympathetic nuclei of the facial nerve and the related parasympathetic ganglions of the head except one the exception is what lacrimal gland submandibular gland sublingual gland parotid gland Number five, a group of dental students were discussing the loss of taste sensation from the anterior two-third of the tongue of a 39-year-old bell palsy patient. They realized a possible lesion in the facial nerve proximal to the chordae tympani nerve. The chordae tympani nerve exits the skull and enters the infratemporal Fossa through the through which opening internal acoustic meters, petrotympanic fissure, inferior orbital fissure, terigo maxillary fissure, foramen open. So these are the multiple choice questions. Now here is the answer. Question number one, question number five is B. Okay. Five the Corotimpani nerve exits the skull and enters the infratemporal fossa through the petrotympanic fissure. That is the answer. Not this. Internacoustic meters contain the facial nerve, vestibulocochlear nerve, plus some labyrinthine vessels. From a Nobel for the mandibular nerve. So, if you look at this, then this is the correct answer. All of the following glands are inhabited by parasympathetic nucleofacial nerve and related parasympathetic ganglions of the head, except one. The exception is the parotid gland. Okay. It is associated with that of the otic ganglion. So that is a contribution from the glossopharyngeal nerve. Okay. So this it doesn't fit here. All other sublingual, submandible lacrimal gland are innervated by the parasympathetic nuclei of the facial nerve, and the 
parasympathetic ganglion like pterygoplatin ganglion or the submandibular ganglion. So answer should be parotid gland that is an exception. Okay. Number three, 47 year Bell's palsy patient felt unusual excessive intensity of telephone call from a doctor's office. Just remember he is a Bell's palsy patient. So she, he has something wrong. He has lower motor neural lesion of the facial nerve and the stapedius is getting innervation from the facial nerve in the facial canal. So stapedius, uh, if it is paralyzed, then we'll have hyperacusis or excessive and unusual intensity of the sound. Okay. So answer should be the stapedius. Okay, now question number two here. The facial colliculus is an elevation on each side of the floor of the fourth ventricle formed by the internal genu, genu means turning, turning around of the facial nerve from the specifically from the motor nucleus over the nucleus of what? Over the nucleus of the abducens nerve. That's why we we'll get an elevation in the floor of the fourth ventricle okay question number one a 28 year old man was rushed to the emergency room following an accident in a construction site ct scan revealed obliteration of the stylomastoid foramen which is the following nerve comes out of the stylomastoid foramen and such will be facial nerve then it will, it will be we'll get the posterior auricular nerve and we'll get five branches to the inside the inside the pyrotid gland also will get innervation uh, to the posterior digestic and stylohyoid muscle so our answer should be facial nerve so these all that's all about these five mcqs if you like these mcqs so please support my channel share the information with your friends feel, feel free to ask me any question and please subscribe okay and have a nice day bye now